Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco and welcome to another edition of the uh, Leet Wine TV show. Uh, <clears throat> so we've got here the 2007 Conquista Malbec. Well, the label says Conquista de Argentina because that's where this is from. It's from the Mendoza region of Argentina. And uh, we got this at World Market for $7.99. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Wow, I can already smell it. So, I don't know, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of the alcohol, and I don't know why I can't find it on the label. I know when I looked up the fact sheet, it should have been around 13, 13.5% alcohol. So, we'll go with that for right now. I'm not going to waste all the time trying to find an alcohol content. But anyway, so I'm getting, getting a little sweetness, getting a little, uh, little fruits. I would say kind of darker fruit. Maybe some plum. Let's check it out. Get a little, maybe a little bit of a little bit of chocolate. Let's check it out. Can put it all the way in there. So I got a little dryness, but not too bad. Not like I'm getting attacked. Um, kind of a, a bit of smokiness. Like um, like you're out you're out somewhere when they've got the big pit barbecue going, and you got that like maybe mesquite smoke coming at you. I'm getting a little bit of that on, on the palate, um, which is nice because it's 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 different than um, saying every day I I taste dark fruit <laughs> and or dark dark berries. Getting quite a bit of sourness. And I don't know why, but a little bit sour, which I'm getting, I'm getting that barbecue, overall, I'm getting that barbecue feeling. So I've got the smokiness, maybe like mesquite type of flavoring, which uh, I don't know if you've ever encountered mesquite itself in, in a wine. But maybe it's not mesquite, but just that, that idea of the wood burning at a barbecue and maybe a little bit of sauce. But I'm getting this like sour, this sour component that I'm not really a big fan of. But it's like a sour cherry or like a sour fruit. Not not a bad sour like it's a bad wine, like it's 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 spoiled, but that you know you get like a, a sour like a, a sour cherry or a sour fruit of some sort. So um, I don't know, that that's kind of put me off on it. Um, I mean I like the smokiness of it. I like that barbecue thing, and maybe if I paired it with say barbecue. And, and did that, I'd probably like it a lot better. But just a wine as on its own, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. 
At least not as much as I'd like to. It's kind of like I like it, but I don't. That, that sourness really is, is turning me off, and, and I don't um, – I don't know. I, I think you have to pair it with food. No, no question about it. You have to pair it with food. So um, just a wine on its own, I'm going to give it an 83. And uh, it's not a bad wine by any means. You know, it's seven ninety nine. It's eight bucks, and you know, it's it's. I I'd like to see how it pairs with some food, and um, kind of rejudge it. But I just can't get over that that smokiness, um, which I'm, I wasn't expecting at all. Uh, so let's talk about the Conquista brand a bit. Uh, I've only had like a minute or so. Um, right, so it's, it's in the Mendoza uh, region of Argentina. Uh, the two thousand six is. You know what? I, I go to the websites and I try to find out as much as I can. And I really hate it when wineries do not put their most current vintage information up. So I'm going to have to go up with the 2006 vintage as far as this breakdown of varietal. So it's not 100 at least the 2006 was not 100% Malbec. It was 88% Malbec, 6% Bonardo, which we had uh, a little Bonardo a couple weeks ago, a little blend. 3% um, Shiraz and 3% Merlot. Um, I'm assuming it's similar. This is going to be a similar makeup. Um, maybe it's more Malbec, maybe it's less Malbec, and the others are all in there. Maybe they're not all over in there. But um, So that's from the 2006. It's imported by the Prestige Wine Group out of St. Paul, Minnesota, but the winery is in Argentina. Prestige Wine Group does wines from, like, all over. You know, they're an importer. So, um, But I, I wouldn't say it's a bad wine. It's not. You know, 83 is not a horrible score. But um, I'm a little put off. Man, I keep getting that smoke. That, that's that's the intriguing part. Like, you know, even while I'm breathing, while I'm exhaling it, while I'm exhaling, I, I, it's like through my nose, I can feel that smoke. And that's that's really um, kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's going to be it for today's episode. And uh, thanks for stopping in, and we'll see everybody again next time.